What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're here for another Cupid's Corner. It's a beautiful Sunday. Uh, we appreciate you guys all tuning in and watching our show and this segment in particular. Uh, we're trying to help everybody out there, especially right now. Everybody's still in lockdown. The country's still in this corona uh, pandemic. Crisis. Crisis. Isolation. Um, so, and each state is different right now. We're looking about opening back up the United States, right? So, uh, you know, people are still, you know, they're still on edge, I think, a little bit. Uh, but a lot of people are raring to get out. And a lot of couples are still together. Um, luckily, you know, I hope everybody's in a good positive situation out there, not a negative one. Because um, this could cause a lot of stress and tension, especially in relationships. So, I want to make sure that you guys get out of this corona isolation craziness without a divorce, okay? <laughs> so, uh, you know, yeah, we want to- I heard those aren't fun. Or, or breakups or whatever yeah. it may be, okay? Because you could be living with somebody without, you know, being married to them. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we want to bring you guys some more good tips of what you guys can do on the corona lockdown, right? This virus craziness. So we've thought of a lot of good tips through these last couple of weeks, especially, right? Mm -hmm. It's become harder and harder because nobody can just go outside. They can't take trips. You know, they can't. So we do can't this, really go can over that. things like, "Hey, by the way, <laughs> take this awesome vacation down to Hawaii yeah. and lay by the beach and cuddle." Yeah. So you're gonna have to get creative, right? And you know what? Me and Sharice have been creative through our whole relationship through the 12 years. You know, in the beginning, we didn't have a lot of money. We weren't doing all these crazy things or anything like that. So you know, that natural love and the, the things that we did right. Off the bat have kind of made us who we are today and it's made us stronger for that so there's a lot of different ways that you guys can get creative especially right now and we've covered a lot of different things and topics in the past like i said but let's come up with two more new things that we would recommend to you guys as a couple to help you guys become stronger hopefully reignite things and make sure you guys are not going to go through a breakup or divorce at the end right <laughs> so let's let's go over these two big tips for you guys so the first one is obviously, like Sheree said, you can't travel right now. So nobody's going to Hawaii or Spain or the Caribbean or Mexico or anything like that. Or if you are, God bless you. Wear a mask. You know, wear a mask. <laughs> make sure you're clean. Make sure everything's safe. And make sure you can get back into the United States. But most of us can't, right? So what are you doing with all this spare time? Now, trust me, there's a lot that will eat up that spare time, especially if you got kids, you're doing distance learning, oh your goodness. job might be working from home still, you know, you're still trying to stay busy, stay active, mm -hmm. work out maybe, you know, you guys got to eat. So this could be taking up some time, but let, let's face it, you've got a lot more time on your hands than you did before. Okay? Right, you're not gone for eight hours out of the day working somewhere in a building or in your office, your home right. for the eight hours a day. Or, or, or more. <laughs> or more. Okay, so, so you're there. So what can you guys do to you know spice things up a little bit? So let's talk about the first one. The first one is this. You know, if you guys are wanting to travel somewhere, you guys have talked about, man, when we get out of this, you know, I can't wait. Maybe we can take a vacation or, or whatever it may be, or I'd like to travel here. You know, think about where that place is or where your partner wants to go. Now, this is a really easy one, too. So learn a different language. And I'm not talking about learn the whole language, right? But learn to say easy words or phrases like, I love you. So learn that in a different language. And then express that to your partner. You should say it and then just surprise them. Surprise them. And they'll them. be like, what did you just say? But like, what, what the that would be my initial. That would be my initial response with that ugly face. Like, I'm sorry. Right? So I'm <laughs> Greek, right? So, I, you know, I, I guess I could cheat a little bit because I know it. And I'm like, saka po kukula, which is I love you, baby doll, right? <laughs> so that's one thing. And I'm just giving an example that you guys can learn in a different language. You guys can learn in French. You guys can learn in Spanish. You know, German, whatever it may be. Wherever you guys want to go, whatever you guys want to do. So just learn that little phrase. And maybe you can learn more little phrases. And the whole thing is, is you're teaching your partner and you're communicating with your partner in a whole different way. Mm -hmm. So you guys may be able to use this when we get out of the coronavirus thing, you know? And I love you never goes out of style. It never goes out of style. It never goes out of style. Saying I love you. I probably tell John I love you quite a few times throughout the day. He does too, just randomly. It just super, it could be super random. 
Literally, I could be in the kitchen, maybe making dinner. He'll just walk by and be like, love you, baby. I'm like, love you too. Or he might be in the shower and be like, love you, baby. I'm like, love you too. <laughs> so it doesn't it yeah. doesn't ever go out of style. He can say it 100 times a day and it would still mean just as much as the time before. So Especially if you're genuine about it, they're going to feel that. Trust me. And it's not something you say it over and over like every time it's, I love you. I love it's not. It doesn't get played out like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you say it, it, like I said, you know, it just could be randomly. You know, you might be thinking of something that you guys did or something really cool or something that made you smile. And be like, oh, I love you, baby. You know, it is what it is. So that's one way that you guys can connect on a more personal level by learning, you know, this maybe phrase, like I love you in a whole different language. Mm-hmm. You guys are learning something new and that's what you guys should be taking advantage of this time too, is learning new hobbies, learning new skills, learning things that might benefit you, your relationship and your family if you have one. Mm-hmm. So at that point, Learn a phrase like I love you in a different language, okay? And it will actually help to benefit the relationship. You guys can use it in the bedroom. You guys can use it outside. Wherever you guys want. It's yeah, really, really cool. not even know what you're saying. So that's cute, too. And that, that's a benefit. That's the inside communication that we covered on our previous Cupid's Corner. Yep. So if you guys haven't heard that one, make sure you guys go back and listen to that Cupid's Corner because there's some good advice in there. We're giving <laughs> this stuff out for free now. We should be charging nineteen ninety five for each tip. But we're going to give it to you guys for free. So that's the first tip to do. The second tip, okay, no matter if you're mentally fatigued, physically fatigued, you know, it's just been crazy, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling somewhat depressed or down or you just don't feel like yourself, you've just had a long day in this isolation process, right? Maybe teledistancing wasn't going good for work or the kid was driving you crazy, you got three oh or four goodness. kids doing telelearning. Man, mm-hmm. I feel for you parents mm-hmm. out there. Trust me, we're parents ourselves. So we've got one 10 year old doing this, That's it's enough. crazy. Enough. So for some of you guys that have multiple kids, God bless you guys, okay? <laughs> but the second one is, you know, saying good night at the end of the day, before you go to bed. In bed, like right before you go to sleep. Right. A, a kiss and a hug goes a long way. That physical communication along with verbal communication is awesome. I'll give you an example, actually, because I do it to him all the time. So we'll be in bed watching TV, whatever it might be, maybe working on stuff. You know, I'll, I'll usually be up later than he is, but I might be working on something or whatnot, and I'll see him, like, doze off, you know, on starting to fall asleep or whatever, and I'll go to him and be like, like, kiss? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, then I give him a kiss. Good night, because it's important to me before he goes to sleep every single night to give him a kiss and tell him I love him. It's very important. And this is great, right? And this is great for you because you guys will end on a positive note. Don't ever end on a negative note because you go to sleep in those negative feelings. And those feelings, they get crazy and they just might draw more and more stir tension, you know, problems. Um, you might start the next day off in that negative tone That's or negative what light. That's happens, yeah. And that sets the tone for the day or possible week now because... You know, even if, you let's say you, you went to bed negative, you got up the next day and this was a regular situation, you'd be leaving the house, you guys would separate, mm-hmm. maybe you guys would think about things a little bit more, but now you guys are waking up next to each other, you guys are going to be in the house all day together again, possibly, and it's just going to draw more negative feelings. So the whole point is, is end it on a positive note. And even if you guys aren't fighting or anything like that, put this in your daily routine. Mm-hmm. And you guys will become stronger. It will bring more positivity to your relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, the same in the morning. You know, when you get up in the morning, give each other a kiss or a hug in the morning, like good morning, beautiful or baby or whatever you want to call your wife or your significant other. Hey, you. you know, whatever it whatever is, give them a kiss. I mean, at that point, <laughs> you're acknowledging them. They appreciate that. Um, and it's those little things, right, that add up to the big result. Right. And it's never just the big result. It's not one of those big things that just determines the whole relationship. It's the little things that just keep adding up and adding up and adding up. So if they're all positive, they're going to add up to just one big positive result. It's a whole bunch of negative things. It's going to just be ending, putting cracks in the relationship. Mm-hmm. So you guys don't want that. You guys don't need super glue to hold the cracks together. Make sure the vase doesn't break. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, you know. Be, be aware of it, you know, and, and like I said, before you guys go to bed, make sure you guys give a kiss, give a hug, say I love you, good night, 
you know, uh, in sweet dreams, whatever you may may say. That it could be like. simple. You can even just give them a kiss goodnight and you say you didn't say anything at all. Yeah. It's still like a closure to your day and a closure to your night. Yeah. So it's, it is important. And it's important that you do not go to bed angry at each other. Yeah. You know, there's this was this was probably a long time ago. We're talking like 10 years ago when me and John, you know, first got what, 12 years ago, whatever oh. it was. So anyways, we you, there's definitely been times <laughs> we've had blowout fights. You know, it's not like me and John are perfect. I don't think anybody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Guys. Nobody's perfect. We've been through trials and tribulations that have made us who we are today. That's right. We would not be as strong as we are today if we didn't go through those trials and tribulations absolutely we would need to go through those in order to be who we are That's you know right. we wouldn't even be sitting here in front of you being able to tell you all this cool stuff if we didn't go through those things so you know it's it's really important to me that you know there'd be like a night that it was just terrible and we have this huge blow up fight really 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 mad at each other still and I'd be like okay I love you good night and, you know, still give them a kiss goodnight, and, you know, we can always dress it the next morning. Right. But we didn't end it like that. I mean, just think about it like this, too, guys. What if, because this has happened to people out there, I actually know somebody personally, what if they don't wake up the next morning? Yikes. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be negative about it. I'm just, this is reality. Yeah. What if your significant other, just put this in your brain, had a heart attack and didn't wake up the next morning? What was the last thing that you told your significant other? So every time I leave the house, I always tell John, I love you, drive safe. You know, he tells me the same thing, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen next. You don't know, God forbid something happens. What was the last thing you told your significant other? You want the last thing to be something positive. Absolutely, 100%. So you guys should take these tips that we're giving you guys, utilize them, put them in play, and benefit your relationship from what we have already went through. Yep. Your experiences can define you, okay? Not all the time, but they will teach you a lot of important things through life. Very uh, much so. At that point, you should learn from them, adapt, evolve, and grow. That's what it's all about. Because we're all going to get hard lessons, and if you don't learn from those hard lessons, you're going to just keep getting them over and over again. So I think that pretty much sums up our Cupid's Corner. We want to give you guys some really, really good tips. We've got more for you guys, so don't worry. If we get locked down a whole another month or two, <laughs> don't worry. we got some great tips, and we might even do some, some do's <laughs> and don'ts and stuff like that. But we've definitely worked out some other ones for you guys, so don't worry. We're going to keep you guys excited, just like we're staying excited over here. So I appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner every Sunday. 11 a.m. ABC, plus we're on social media with these as well. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, you guys want to chime in, do you think you guys got, you know, an important tip or something that might be beneficial for couples out there, we'd like to share it. So make sure you guys stay in communication with us too as well. We're very easy to get in contact with as far as DMing, uh, you know, texting, whatever it is. Uh, please let us know. So I'm John. I'm Sharice, and I hope everybody out there stays safe and healthy. Bye, guys.